the milk and my coffee as well just so it's this warm and it's so good it's so cozy i just came back from my internship and on the subway i had such a cute moment and i wrote it down quickly on a piece of paper because i still didn't get to buy a new journal so writing stuff down on random paper that i have with me and it says watching someone smile ear to ear looking at their phone I felt no energy, but seeing this person filled with cheer made me want to live more today. I've been really finding my inner voice again, and, and it feels good to be inspired by strangers again. This was such a cute little moment that I had. I'm now home. I don't really think I'm gonna leave the flat today. I need a journal and I also need a planner, because I keep kind of forgetting what my plans are. And I, since I'm working and doing my internship and everything, I do have very busy days, kind of. They're, they just always feel like they're so full. So I really need a planner. But that's a problem for me another day this week. Hopefully another day this week. I thought I could draw a little calendar, at least just a monthly one. And then I'll probably be making dinner already, I think. That's my little afternoon activity right now. With today being the 1st of October. Happy October, by the way. I feel like we are now in the depths of fall, like October. It just makes sense. It feels good to maybe have a good start into it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that now. <laughs> so gray and cold it's not the most beautiful autumn 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 week to be honest i'm trying so hard to make autumn and winter like not to hate it i'm very much a summer person and i get cold so easily that i don't know how to ever cope with autumn and especially winter like autumn is like there's still stuff that i love about autumn winter trying so hard to love it and this year i made a list of different categories that i could do during autumn and winter and I really want to try and do every category at least once. So I have food that I want to cook or something that I want to bake. I have activities that I want to do, special places I want to visit, like stuff like that. And I really hope to just find joy in winter too, because there's just no way that I can keep on living, <laughs> hating winter on. So especially living in Austria, like a country that is very known for its winter so i really want to open up about what i love about it here and we'll see how that goes i don't want to hate on the weather because there's still good things that i can do and one thing is actually a bunch of my friends are coming over this evening and we're spending some time together i think we're gonna order some food and the highlight actually i love all my friends that are coming like if you're watching this i love you so much but if you've been watching my vlogs for a while, which if you've been watching for over a year at this point, you might know my friend Catherine or I call her Catherine and Kate, whatever. You you will know her by name probably because she was in every single one of my vlogs. At one point we studied together in our bachelors and she was probably one of the first people that I felt such a 
true and deep connection with that I met. She left after the bachelor's about a year ago, traveled around, did her thing and she is visiting in Vienna right now for two weeks and she's coming over too. Oh god, it feels like seeing a long lost lover again. I am so excited. It's the day I've been waiting for. It's truly really the day I've been waiting for since she left. I feel like I am so excited that she's here. But yeah, I think they're gonna be here pretty soon. That's it for today. That's the way I'm trying to make today good and feel comfortable and feel grateful about it. So yeah. First things first, a cup of water. Cheers! Now I can have my three cups of coffee. <laughs> Balance, am I right? There's construction work everywhere right now. I don't know what to do about it because I don't know if you can even hear the construction going on outside our door. My roommate went to the supermarket yesterday. We've been waiting for this to come out. We saw it. We both saw it on TikTok and we were both like going a little too much to look for it. And it's this pumpkin spice oat milk. I am so excited to have this because I see like in, when I watch like vlogs from people in the US or so, they have all these fun cream creamers. I think they're creamers flavors. We don't have creamers here. We This is a blessing. This is a blessing. We don't have flavored stuff like that. We have vanilla soy milk and chocolate soy milk, but uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing fun, nothing. So this is special. Christian Girl Autumn can begin. I'm gonna have some of this in my coffee. And what time is it now? It's already eight. I woke up at six and I don't think I really fell asleep anymore till like 6.30 when I really got out of bed. It wasn't on purpose that I woke up this early. My boyfriend had to leave because he had a pretty early class and I just couldn't fall asleep again. A win is a win, but I'm also like... It feels really weird to have been up so long already because I'm meeting up with Katrin. We have this fun little ritual. Obviously when she lived in Vienna, we did a million things but we had some places that we just always went to and there's this one cafe called Liebling we went there all the time we had we both had the same thing and if we wanted cake afterwards also at Liebling we both would always get the same thing we like the, it was a ritual we did this pretty often so we're meeting up at nine and i'm gonna walk there so i need to be ready in 25 minutes it's enough time. I was so excited because I we used to do this all the time and when she left, I just stopped. It just makes more sense together. But I'm gonna make my coffee now. And my roommate actually gave me the idea to put maple syrup in it too, to make it like maple pumpkin. Oh my God. We have some maple syrup here. I'm gonna put it in there to the milk. I already know that this will probably be a staple in our household for the month of October. Cheers. Can you tell me, tell me that I'm on your mind on this fight? I still want you, I still need you. Do you know what I can do? Feel so small. I just put my bedding in the wash and I came back from the post office. I didn't even show you the trip was just, it's so cold outside. I just put on the warmest stuff I had and took my umbrella, but I have a fun package. 
says fragile. Do not bend on it. It's so exciting. A viewer, her name is Jenna Carter. I will put her Instagram and everything on the screen. She's amazing. Jenna DM'd me about sending me something from her art. It took a bit to arrive here. I obviously said yes because how amazing is this? And I've been waiting for this picture. Like I wake up every day excited, just hoping that it already arrived. We made it. She sent me some of her art that she felt like I would love and I sent her my favorites and let her choose which one she wants to send me. And this is one of her prints. How beautiful is this color by the way? Oh my god! She sent me two prints. Wait, I'm gonna put it on the floor. Wait. Okay, I think she sent me two prints. Stop, there's a letter in there. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Oh my god, Jenna! I love these! Okay, so this is one print. She's amazing. Oh my god, she's amazing. This is the other one, which I am so in love with. Oh! Oh, oh my god! Thank you so much, Jenna. Go check her out. She also has her own clothing line with her art and, and obviously her prints and oh my god this is an honor so much so much love to jenna wish i could hug her right now i will definitely need to find a perfect place for these this is insane it's insane